بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Dear children, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh We will start our second lesson today on Surah Al-Fatiha In the last classes we have learned أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين مالك يوم الدين مالك ماستر يوم of the day at deen of judgment master of the day of judgment while we say it we hope for and feel excited about the reward that inshallah Allah will give us on the day of judgment and also feel the fear of punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the mistakes we did so we want to get the rewards and gifts on that day and we don't want Allah to be angry with us or punish us so we say Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'een Iyaka you alone na'abudu we worship wa iyaka and you alone nasta'een we ask for help you alone we worship and you alone we ask for help what is worship? He say iyaka na'abudu you alone we worship what is worship? prayers fasting Zakah, Hajj, doing dhikr, remembering Allah. And after that, acquiring knowledge, coming to school, studying subjects, Quran, Islamic studies, mathematics, science, English, or different languages. Also, listening to parents, teachers, helping others, sharing things with brothers and sisters. All this to please Allah to make Allah happy then it will be worship Allah will then inshallah make things easy for us and of course remember of all these things Salah comes first and you alone we ask for help that means oh Allah without your help we cannot do anything we cannot worship you and with your help everything is possible Praying on time, studying Quran, studying other subjects, listening to parents and teachers, being nice to people, avoiding bad things, all these things are possible with your help. So we need your help. So let us practice this verse three to five times or even more till we understand each and every word. And every time we practice, we have the intention and feelings that, oh Allah, we want to be like this. We want to worship you and we ask for your help. Otherwise, if you don't have that feelings and don't sincerely say it, it will be a lie. And Allah hates a liar. So let us be sincere in saying this verse. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een Iyaka, you alone Iyaka, you alone na'budu, we worship Wa iyaka, and you alone nasta'een, we ask for help Iyaka na'budu you alone we worship wa iyyaka nasta'een and you alone we ask for help you can repeat this several times till you understand each and every word let us go to the next verse to worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we need his guidance so we say ihdina as-sirat al-mustaqim ihdina guide us ihdina guide us as-sirat the path the way al mustaqim straight guide us to the straight path guide us to the straight path the straight path means the right way to do things guide us means show us take us all along this path on the right way the right way to live the life the best way have you seen anyone walking in a zigzag way? No, it's a crazy way. We should walk straight on a straight road. It is the best and the shortest way and the quickest way. Similarly, in this life, we need to know the straight way to live. That is how to worship Allah. How to be nice to mommy and daddy, to brothers and sisters, to teachers, to friends. How to spend time. 
you know study when it's time for study and play when it's time for play and most importantly when it's time for prayer we pray and Quran shows us that way Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam has shown us that way as to how we should practice Quran therefore we should study Quran and study the life of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and Allah will show us the straight way so let us practice this verse three to five times or even more with meanings and to make Allah happy with feelings and with the intention that we really want to Allah to be on the straight path okay sincerely ihdina guide us as the path al mustaqim the straight ihdina sirat al mustaqim guide us to the straight path practice this more and more till you understand each and every word now we come to grammar in grammar we have learned huwa hum anta antum ana nahnu can you translate huwa he hum they anta you antum you all ana i nahnu we so repeat with me huwa hum anta antum ana nahnu huwa hum anta antum ana nahnu we have learned that in the last class in spoken Arabic we will learn wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh you already know assalamu alaykum assalamu peace be alaykum on you all wa rahmatullah and mercy of Allah so wa alaykum assalam wa alaykum and on you all wa is and alaykum on you all assalam be peace you prayed peace for me so I say on you all also peace and mercy of Allah wa rahmatullah and mercy of Allah wa barakatuhu that is the new word we have wa is and barakat blessings barakatuhu his blessings barakatuhu his blessings that is Allah's blessings so practice this couple of times till you understand each and every word we will do it here only once for the recording sake wa alaykum assalam wa alaykum and on you all assalam peace wa rahmatullah and mercy of allah wa barakatuhu and his blessings wa alaykum and on you all assalam peace wa alaykum assalam and on you be peace wa rahmatullah and mercy of Allah wa barakatuhu and his blessings wa alaykum assalam and on you be peace wa rahmatullah and mercy of Allah wa barakatuhu and his blessings you can practice more at the end I will again remind you to recite Surah Al-Fatiha and the rest of the Quran and any dhikr to make Allah happy with understanding and with feelings may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to recite understand and practice Quran subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya'i wal mursaleen Nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Dear children, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh We will continue with our second lesson on Surah Al-Fatiha In the last class, we have studied two verses Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'in Ihdina as-sirat al-mustaqim you can revise this word for word. Iyaka, you alone, na'budu, we worship. Wa iyaka, and you alone, nasta'in, we ask for help. And what is that help? Ihdina sirat al mustaqim. Ihdina, guide us. As sirat, the path. Al mustaqim, the straight. Guide us to the straight path. We will continue. Sirat al ladina an'amta alayhim. Sirat, the path. Sirat is repeated in Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim already. Sirat means path. Alladina, of those who. 
an'amta you have bestowed favors it's a long sentence but that's how it is an'amta you have bestowed favors you have given blessings and favors and so on alayhim on them alayhim on them assalamu alaykum alaykum means on you all alayhim on them sirat alladhina an'amta alayhim the path of those you have bestowed favors on them we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the path of those people who were blessed by you, who were favored by you, who were gifted by you. Who are blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Who are favored by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? They are prophets, for example, and good and pious people. Like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him. He was the best of all. He obeyed everything that Allah said. He was the most kind, very nice to people. We want to be like that. We want to follow his path and the path of those who are the best people. Prophet ﷺ never wasted time. He wanted to have more and more knowledge. Therefore, he used to ask Allah, Rabbi zidni ilma, Rabbi. O oh my Lord, O oh my Rabb, zidni, increase me ilma in knowledge. Rabbi zidni ilma, O oh my Rabb, increase me in knowledge. So if he used to ask for knowledge, we should also ask. You see, you are coming to school for knowledge. You should ask Allah again and again, and he will give you a lot of knowledge. And inshallah, you will become a scholar, a manager, a doctor, engineer, officer, what not. He is the one who gives knowledge. So practice this again to make Allah happy with understanding, with feeling and with the intention that we want to follow the path of an'amta alayhim, those who are favored or blessed by you, O oh Allah. Sirat, path, alladheena, of those who an'amta, you have bestowed favors, you have given favors alayhim on them. Sirat al-Ladina an-Namta alayhim, the path of those you have given favors on them. You have bestowed favors means you have given favors. You can practice more and more till you understand each and every word. غير المعضوب عليهم ولا الضالين غيري not المعضوب of those who earned wrath alayhim on themselves. That means not of those who earned wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on themselves. On themselves means they did wrong things. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was angry. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was not angry for nothing. Not just like that. He was angry with them because they did bad things. So they incurred they received the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of their own actions. That's why we say we don't want the path of such people who have earned the wrath, who have earned wrath on themselves. And the wrath of whom or anger of whom? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is angry with them. Walad dalin and not of those who go astray, who are lost, who don't know the path. So the first type is those people with whom Allah is angry. And who are such people? They know the paths but do not follow it. Allah is angry with such people. Astaghfirullah. If somebody does not know the path, we should tell him about the right path in the best and nice and beautiful way. And if somebody disobeys Allah, even after knowing the right path, then even if he or she is famous, or beautiful or rich or they may show off they may have a lot of things they will die soon and lose everything and if Allah is angry with someone especially if he's kafir then he will go in the hell forever do we ever want to follow such people no we don't want even to look at them the second type is Adalin, those who are lost, those who do not know the right way, or even worse, 
those who are lost even though they can find the right way in the Quran we should never be like such people and our friends should be those people who follow the right path who try to be good who are not lost and who are not you know disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so let us practice this last part with understanding with feelings to please Allah and with the intention that oh Allah we do not want to follow such people المغضوبي عليهم والضالين غير not المغضوبي of those who earned wrath عليهم on themselves غير المغضوبي عليهم not of those who have earned wrath on themselves ولا and not الضالين of those who go astray والضالين and not of those who go astray والضالين and not of those who go astray or those who are lost practice this three five or more times till you memorize the meanings of each and every word now we come to grammar last time we have learned huwa hum anta antum ana nahnu can you translate huwa he hum they anta you, antum, you all, ana, I, nahnu, we. We will now attach a word with it. Muslim. Who a Muslim? It becomes a sentence. He is a Muslim. So we will do it also in four cycles. First, we will repeat with translation. So repeat after me. Who a Muslim? He is a Muslim. Who a Muslim? He is a Muslim. Hum Muslimun, they are Muslims. Hum Muslimun, they are Muslims. Anta Muslim, you are a Muslim. Anta Muslim, you are a Muslim. Antum Muslimun, you are Muslims. Antum Muslimun, you are Muslims. Ana Muslim, I am a Muslim. Ana Muslim, I am a Muslim. Nahnu Muslimun, we are Muslims. Nahnu Muslimun, we are Muslims. We'll go to next cycle. You translate. Who are Muslim? He's a Muslim. Hum Muslimun, they are Muslims. Anta Muslim, you are a Muslim. Antum Muslimun, you are all Muslims. Ana Muslim, I am a Muslim. Nahnu Muslimun, we are Muslims. Now let us talk to Arabs. Means assume that nobody knows English here and we speak in Arabic only. And repeat after me. Who are Muslim? Who are Muslim? Hum Muslimun, Hum Muslimun. Anta Muslim, Anta Muslim. Antum Muslimun, Antum Muslimun. Ana Muslim, Ana Muslim. Nahnu Muslimun, Nahnu Muslimun. Lastly, I will just show the signs and you will say it. I will say it slowly for recording sake. Who are Muslim? Hum Muslim? Anta Muslim? Antum Muslim? Ana Muslim? Nahnu Muslim? So singular is Muslim and plural is Muslimun. We can add such thing to other words like Kafir, Kafirun, Mushrik, Mushrikun, Salih, Salihun and so on. You can practice more. That's all for today. And remember always to do your homeworks, fill up the worksheets and start your daily homeworks of maths or science or any other subject. First with Quran, just for three to five minutes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will in fact help us learn Quran and give barakah in rest of the studies. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayka.